Hello, I'm Suresh Kanal from ICT Trends. Welcome to the today's video about how to insert table of contents in the beginning of document. I decided to create this video uh, when Subarna Zangsai, a member of ICT Trends, asked me in a chat. Uh, he says, Sir, I'm confused in insert a table of contents at the beginning of document. Please help me, sir. Give me easy steps. So to address his uh, question, uh, this video is created. And I hope that this video will be useful to all those uh, beginners who find uh, inserting table of contents in the beginning uh, of document a bit difficult or confusing. To insert table of contents, all you need to do uh, is these three steps. Uh, first, uh, let uh, Microsoft Word know where are your titles. Uh, for that, you'll need to use the styles. That means you need to tell MS Word that, well, this, this, and this uh, are the headings of my document. So they should be included in the table of contents. Uh, for that purpose, we use styles. And after that, we need to choose where we want to place uh, the table of contents, whether on the first page or on the second page or on the third page. And finally, we will insert a table of contents at that position. I have a document here. Uh, to demonstrate to you uh, for this purpose um, the text I've inserted and there are some headings uh, some lists are there in this document like this one and till now MS Word doesn't recognize which of the text is body text and which one are heading for example this isolate different material it is made bold with just this bold, MS Word won't identify that this is heading because there might be many bold. So to let MS Word know that this is the heading of my document, what I need to do is uh, select uh, the uh, proper style. For example, this is my main heading, foolproof study tips. Uh, to make this my heading, what I need to do is just place your insertion line inside the paragraph or inside the text, your heading text, and open the style box from the list, choose heading one. Uh, this is my heading one. Click it. So this text now became heading one. Don't be bothered about the uh, appearance of this uh, text right now because you can customize the styles and make them look as you require for your document. Similarly, I also like different materials. This is the uh, subheading of my main heading. Foolproof study tips is the main heading and isolate different material is the subheading. So for this I will choose the heading 2 style, this one. Similarly I need to uh, specify other headings also. Uh, this was heading 2, now this one don't cram is also uh, heading 2, second level heading, that is subheading. Mix it up is another subheading and down down test yourself, this is also subheading. and a custom logo for your blog. Now here it came to another main heading. Uh, because this is the main heading, I need to choose here heading one and down. And build the concept first is the second level of heading, heading two. It's not here. Let me open the list and choose heading two. This one is heading two. Similarly, build the logo, heading two, and rebuild the logo, heading two. This way you will go on specifying the correct heading levels for all the he uh, titles of your document it must be set to heading 2 communities and professionals will be set to heading 2 and using new technologies heading 2 okay this way I have marked all of my document headings with the correct heading style okay after you uh, apply uh, styles correctly to all the headings of your document you can check whether the outline of your document are correct or not for that go uh, click on the outline uh, view and this outline view is really very good to uh, see the structure of document uh, like here I will see only the main headings heading level 1 uh, Okay, my document contains three main headings, one foolproof study tips, another custom logo for your blog, and another the privilege of sharing knowledgeable with countless many. Okay, and if I want to see the subheadings, I can click on the heading level 2. Well, uh, it displayed the subheadings under each uh, main heading. 
Now I have got full study, uh, full proof study tips uh, has subheadings like isolate different materials, don't cram, mix it up, test yourself. These are the subheadings so for uh, this heading and build the concept first, build the logo, rebuild the logo are the subheadings of this custom logo. So this way, okay, the document structure is fine enough and if ever you require, you can rearrange reorganize your document also for example I will uh, place the foolproof study tips at the beginning and I want to move this chapter the whole chapter up so let me click it on the up button it's here move up click it it'll go up click it up up and here this way so full purpose study tips then uh, the privilege of sharing knowledgeable and then the custom logo for your blog my book will be uh, organized this way so uh, that means now MS Word recognizes your heading. All we need is uh, to assign the correct page number along with them to create table of contents, isn't it? Let me go back to the page layout view or the print layout view. Now, if you are not happy with uh, the appearance of these headings, you can very easily modify them, customize them. Uh, for example, this foolproof study tips. Uh, it should be big enough, very much uh, uh, visible on the document to uh, make it appear as it's the main heading. Uh, to do that, you will just uh, right click the applied style on the style box and choose modify from the menu. And in this box now, whatever style, uh, whatever formats you specify here will be applied to all your heading one uh, you have used in the document. Uh, in this document we have used, uh, we used uh, three uh, different uh, headings of, of heading one uh, okay for this calibre is quite okay I want to make it a bit larger 24 points good and then I will go to the format and paragraph specify 24 points uh, before the paragraph and another 24 points after the paragraph also my line spacing will be 1.5 rest it's okay similarly I want to put a border below the line uh, sorry below the heading and the border will be a bit thicker one one and a half uh, displayed in a very blue color okay I have specified these uh, formats for the heading one now you click it okay now see the heading one uh, appeared uh, much more bold now similarly go down and check see the second heading also uh, because I uh, pasted it from the web page, the space, they appear as space, but they were not a space in fact. I'm replacing them with the space. So this is another main heading. And similarly, look at here, the custom logo for a blog. All the first level heading appeared to have a consistent view. All of them are having the same appearance. And in case of the heading 2, this is my second level heading, I can modify this by right clicking on the style that we applied and choose modify. Uh, what I need to do, make it uh, up in blue color. So I'll go to the font and I will choose font color to be the blue. This blue font size is 18, is quite okay for me and it's bold well no problem let me choose ok and I don't want to put border for this second level heading it's ok click it ok so the dialog box went now this is the second heading great and for these um, body text paragraph it would be nice if they were justified on the left on the right if they were straight to do that also I can do it just with using the single uh, customization here right click the normal style that we had applied for the body text paragraph and click on modify this uh, menu will produce a dialog box the modify style here what I want to do is change the uh, paragraph to justify I can do it directly from here and uh, click OK so finish now see the body text is justified here that's great the document looks much more professional now doesn't it great so okay now back to the real cause we came uh, and did all this thing to insert table of content now I'm inserting table of content at the beginning press control home my cursor jumps to the beginning of document and I press control enter to insert a page break 
to insert a blank page at the beginning. You see, the first page is blank. I click on the first page at the beginning here. Well, this is the uh, place where I want to insert table of contents. In some cases, this first page might be the cover page or uh, something, something like that. Uh, for example, let me insert a cover page here also, so that I can insert table of contents on the second page. That will be more useful in most cases. To insert table of contents, you can click on the insert uh, tab on the ribbon and choose cover page uh, from the cover, cover page button and choose any one style that you prefer for your cover page. A uh, page is inserted at the beginning. See, the first page is cover page. This is demonstration of uh, inserting a table of contents at the beginning of document and blah 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 let it be I'm not going to work uh, too much with this page here it's just to show you how you can do it so that if the first page is a cover page and on the second page we will insert uh, the table of contents and from the third page uh, our document will start if this is the case when inserting uh, page numbers, uh, your page numbering ca uh, counting should begin from this page, from uh, where your content started, and the table of contents should be inserted here on the second page. Shall I insert the page number here? Okay, uh, let me insert the page number. Now, to insert page number, uh, because page numbers uh, follow sections, the, that's the document formatting so it will be applied to the whole section let me check uh, what is the condition of the uh, breaks inserted here you can click on home button and click on this show hide button this will reveal all the non printing characters that you typed on the document here one page break is inserted and rest is no other breaks are inserted. So rather than inserting page break, I uh, prefer here to insert a section break that will make uh, here, sorry, here I will insert a section break so that uh, all the text after this point will be on a new section and I can number the pages uh, for that particular section. To insert a section break, you will go to page layout tab on the ribbon and choose breaks button and select what type of section breaks uh, you want to insert the first three are not section break the first one is page break the second one is a column break and the third one is option for text wrapping so they are not section break and um, but the button on bottom here are the four options they are for the section break continuous will place a section break mark on the current cursor position and move the text to the a new page or the, to the next page. Continuous will place a section break mark at the cursor position and the text will be just here continuing from the same point. Uh, even page will insert the section break on this point and take your text to the uh, next even page on the document. Similarly, odd page will take your text to the coming out page on the, in the document. In my case, uh, right now, I'm just inserting here the continuous style of a continuous section break and will number this section uh, separately. I inserted a section break here, but uh, it doesn't appear. Uh, if it happens, then you go to the normal view or the draft view and see whether the section break is inserted there or not look at here you can see the section break sometimes when there is not enough space to display section break the page layout view or the print layout view might not display this mark there okay now let me uh, insert page numbers in document and to insert page numbers all I need to do is to go to the insert uh, uh, tab in the ribbon and open page number uh, button then I will put the page numbers on the bottom of page inside here there are different styles of page numbers that you want to apply on your document in my case let me choose this one uh, simple and nice isn't it so select this one and uh, look at the uh, ribbon uh, link to previous is enabled you should turn it off 
to remove the connection between this section and previous section. We are in the footer of the section 2. Our page number will be displayed this way. But uh, let me see what is there on the first section. Okay, look at here, section 1. Uh, the footer is here. I don't want the uh, page numbers on this uh, section. Let me delete it. Event. But sometimes deleting this might delete from the next section also. No, it's not. Fine. So on the uh, first section, uh, no header, no footer. Blank header, blank footer. On the second section, blank header, but page numbers and footer. All page numbers are no. Uh, all pages are numbered correctly. That was what I needed. Done. So close the header and footer toolbar. And now we have prepared our document uh, to insert page numbers. Uh, sorry, to insert the table of contents. Now position your insertion line where you want your page num uh, table of contents to appear. And uh, go to the reference tab in the ribbon. Uh, from table of contents button, open this. A menu will produce the three uh, different styles of table table of contents the first style will display contents as heading and display the table of contents this way indented uh, by heading levels and automatic table 2 another it will display table of contents as heading and the headings will uh, follow the and this one manual uh, table if you want this style you know, choose any of them if they make you happy otherwise you can go to the insert table of contents to open the dialog box and specify your requirements there to uh, further customize the look of table of contents in my case uh, this one automatic table 2 is quite uh, sufficient so I click it to insert the table of contents now see here uh, full purpose study tip is in page number one it's subheadings also and the privilege this one go, went to the page number two and a custom logo for your blog went to the page number three and four so this is the table of contents I inserted before uh, the uh, body text begin and uh, after the cover page so in this video what we did is uh, we uh, specified which of the text is our heading by using uh, styles and we selected the position where we want to place table of content it was on the second page and we inserted table of contents so this way we made uh, the table of contents to appear where we wanted so i hope this helps you to uh, do the task by yourself and i guess the uh, question uh, that suverna asked is answered also I'll be happy to help you more if you still have further confusion. Uh, that's all for today and thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to visit facebook.com slash ICT Trends and click on the like button.